Hi, this is Tracy Fabian with KPI Online. This short video has been created to assist you in creating a new analysis report and saving that report structure for a future use. One of the most important features of a business intelligence application is the ability to analyze your data. This could be performing drill down analysis, trend analysis, comparative analysis, or many other types. Built within each of the KPI Online models is a decision support system to assist you in analyzing your data. To begin, let's look at the revenue metric and perform some additional analysis on this metric. Let's say we want to first drill down on the revenue metric by sales executive. Left click on the revenue metric and go to dimensions and click on sales executive. The decision support system window will open and you will see a breakdown of revenue by sales executive. To drill down further, you can use the dimension category on the left pane. Let's say you want to add region to the analysis and you want to create a cross tab. Simply expand dimension and click on region and drag and drop it onto the revenue column header on the right. You now see a cross tab of revenue broken down by sales executive and region. To add additional dimensions, drag and drop the dimension from the list on the left to the analysis window. The same concept applies for adding additional metrics or indicators to the report. Currently we are only looking at revenue, but let's say we want to add in cost of sales. Expand the indicator category and drag and drop cost of sales to the analysis on the right. You can continue to add additional indicators by dragging and dropping from the left pane to the right pane. So you can quickly see how you can start out with a simple analysis and create a complex analysis in just a few minutes. To remove a dimension or indicator from the report, you can drag the red X from the top menu bar and drop it onto the category you wish to remove. An additional feature of the analysis component is the ability to add indicators or metrics on the fly. In this analysis, we are currently reviewing revenue and cost of sales. But let's say you want to see the difference between these two amounts, but that difference is not being stored as an indicator or metric. You can create this new metric by clicking on the calculated column icon on the top menu bar. The calculated operators window will open. The first step is to give a name to the new metric or the new indicator. The second step is to create the formula for the metric. Let's say revenue minus cost of sales. The third step is to identify the format. You can choose whole number, dollar, percentage, etc. I will keep it as whole number. Click OK and you will now see a new column in your analysis for the difference. You also have the ability within the analysis window to duplicate a metric and view it in a different format. Let's say you want to view the revenue metric not only as a whole number but also as a percentage. Expand the duplicate as function, drag and drop percentage onto the column header for revenue. Under the duplicate as function, you can also show a variation based on a previous period. Expand variation, expand the type of visual, and then drag and drop previous period onto the column header for revenue. The visibility function allows you to narrow the focus of your report. You have probably heard the term 80-20 rule or better known as the Pareto principle which in business basically means 80% of your sales comes from 20% of your clients. To apply this concept to revenue, simply drag and drop the 80-20 rule onto the revenue column header. To see all again, simply drag all and drop it on the revenue column header. Once again, to remove columns, use the red X on the top menu bar. You also have the ability to convert a table into a chart. Let's say you want to view this table as a bar chart. Expand charts on the left hand side, drag and drop bar to the analysis window on the right. To revert back to the table format, Click the table slash graph icon on the top menu bar. 
Lastly, you also have the ability to save this report structure and access it again in the future. To save, click the save icon on the top menu bar, enter the name of the saved report and click save. To access this report structure again from the dashboards, click the starburst icon in the upper left hand corner, scroll down to enterprise analysis, go to favorites and open and click the name of the saved report. The decision support system will open again showing you the report. Please keep in mind the data is not being saved, just the structure of the report. For assistance or if you have any questions using KPI online, please click the live support icon in the upper right hand corner of the dashboards or feel free to send us an email at sas at bytam.com.